Hi, welcome to the Twin City Skinny, brought to you by the Minneapolis Area Association of Realtors, where we dig into the most recent numbers from our market. The primary story, both nationally and in local submarkets, is a dwindling month supply of inventory. The cure, of course, is more inventory, but new construction has been lagging during this opportune moment, and sellers of existing homes are not exactly hitting the market in droves. The heart of the selling season has yet to begin, so we're still optimistically watching for an increase in activity in the coming months. Pending sales increased 6.7% from February 2015 to 4,032 for the month. Closed sales remained relatively flat compared to last February, holding steady with 2,646 sales for the month. With a general need for more inventory, there may be fluctuations in pending and closed sales trends. Buyers are out there, but they need something to buy. The number of homes for sale was down compared to this time last year. Inventory levels market-wide decreased 19.4% to 10,953 units. Now is as good a time to sell as it's been in the last decade. A lack of new construction isn't helping, but we can also point to a general hesitancy in the previously owned sector. Prices were up compared to last year at this time. The median sales price increased 3.7% to $207,395. It is a seller's market, and that will likely be the case this year. Multiple offers are becoming common in a market thin with options, and that drives up price. Month supply of inventory was down 28.1% to 2.3 months. When prices are up and supply falls, the market is ripe for more sellers to take advantage of the opportunity before them. Percent of original list price received at sale rose to 95.3% since last year. National housing starts were up by 10.8% at the end of 2015 when compared to 2014, and the unemployment rate is holding low and steady at 4.9%. Meanwhile, mortgage rates continue to astound at below 4%, and we have witnessed an unprecedented 70 consecutive months of private sector job growth. As consumers navigate their options, competition for the best available properties should be profound, especially if the market remains hobbled by a lack of supply. That's the Twin Cities skinny for this month. Check back next month for the latest.